Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes The Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks Golf Report. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like the Kansas City Ice Center. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, October 6th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this segment is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Kansas City Chiropractic understands the high pressure demands placed upon individuals in the workplace and the athletic demands people place on their bodies. And they offer the care that can relieve pain and stress and improve overall health. Now, you can call them at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. And October is National Chiropractic Month, and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment when you mention KC Sports, She KC, or Good Sports. Hello everyone, I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazine. And you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now this show is being taped at Kansas City's new premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. The Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball. Youth and men's leagues, sports camps, athletic sports enhancement, and more. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. You can call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Now today we're taping our radio show, which is on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 a.m., and our TV show, which can be seen on Sure West Cable on Channel 7 at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m. every single day. And now you can also view our show and our past shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that our latest issue of She KC is now available at over 500 locations, and our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our current issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our Chiefs report presented by Bud Light. This month, we analyze the Chiefs' slow start and what that means to the team for the rest of the season and to the fans. Plus, we get excited about the draft possibilities of the Chiefs. Uh, what they'll have to pick a franchise quarterback in the next draft if the season continues to spiral. Now, in our new hockey report presented by the KC Ice Center, we have an article on youth hockey, and we give you an update on the construction of the brand-new outdoor nhl size rink, which is scheduled to open on November 17th at the Kansas City Ice Center. And in KC, we have a story on former Olathe East KU and KU basketball player Daniel McRae, who is now playing pro basketball in the WNBA. Plus, we show you ways to stay, stay safe and protect yourself this fall. Now, you can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports at Burger King at both Minsky's on Barry Road, Mr. Goodsense, the Kansas City Ice Center, the Fieldhouse of KC, where we're doing our show today, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports Magazine, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the front page of the website and you can actually check out a PDF of the entire issue on our website as well. And our publication SheKC is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find KC Sports. Plus, you can visit our website, SheKC.com. You can check us out on Facebook by searching SheKC or follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, I had mentioned we are here at the Fieldhouse of Kansas City. It is their official grand opening, and we are joined by the man behind the Fieldhouse himself. He is Troy Paul, who is the owner of the Fieldhouse of Kansas City. Uh, which is, of course, as I said, uh, the new basketball fitness and fitness facility at 135th and Quivira. Troy, congratulations. Uh, this has been an exciting thing to watch happen. Uh, this is the grand opening day. Congratulations. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Yeah, this is exciting. We're finally complete with our project, and we opened it up to the public today to show off our final product. 
like you said, we're the largest facility here in Kansas City for a basketball and volleyball field house. We have um, eight uh, basketball courts and ten volleyball courts, but we also do have a fitness center as well upstairs where we can train um, our athletes, but we can also accommodate parents um, for their fitness needs. And we also have group exercise classes as well as um, a spin room, and then we have the open gym for volleyball and basketball. So. And, we, yeah, and we're going to talk with um, one of your coaches, Gary Newsom, and also one of your, your fitness director as well, Cynthia and what's her, uh, Kernodal? Yes. Kernodal? Okay. Yes, we're going to talk with them as well today about the different things that are available for kids and adults and, and moms and dads and all that stuff. Uh, now, first of all, I want to say um, you and I share something in common on this day. It's your grand opening, and it's my seven-year anniversary for buying buying Kansas City Sports and Fitness. So happy birthday to you, to you and, and and yeah. So we will always in, in a year from now we'll have this this date and and it'll be an exciting thing for both of us. But uh, this uh, obviously this show will play um, next week. But the event is on October sixth that we're taping this show. So what's going on here today? What's going on for, with the grand opening? So grand opening day is from ten to four. And what we've been doing is we have a lot of giveaways. We're actually get our grand prize is a Chevy Volt. We're gonna have a half court shot at the end of the day, and we hope. Uh, next week that you're announcing that we actually did really give this car away. Uh, hopefully somebody makes that shot. But also we have uh, PB&J has been great to bring in burn ends and bring in um, their Red Robins to, uh, hamburgers. And we also are doing Baby J's here walking around today. We have a lot of other giveaways. Uh, we also are supporting the Boys and Girls Club. Um, that's a foundation that we support. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, not only do they play with us, but we also support them on tournaments and other events. Um, so we're just really showing the property off, showing everybody what we have here as far as a f an overall facility. Um, we have a thousand, the first thousand in the door get T-shirts and goodie bags, and so we just the list goes on and on. We also are having a camp today. Avila is going to be hosting a camp, right? And uh, their mascot's going to be here. So just a fun packed day full of a lot of different events and and different activities. And, um, and then the, one of the neat things we're showing off today, too, is our new technology and our shooting lab. We're the only uh -huh. publicly owned, um, public, open to the public shooting lab. And what that is is an area where we really work on people's forms, work on perfecting their shot. Mm -hmm. We have a shooting gun. We had a kid that was demonstrating. He got up 1,000 shots in less than an hour. He made 545 shots in a, out of 1,000 oh three-point shots. Wow. So it really perfects and helps him to um, dial in and, and become the perfect shooter he wants to be. He's a college. Um, he wants to play in college, and this is the way he can get there. And then he also, we have another piece of technology called 9450. They named it that because that's the length of the basketball court. Oh, okay. 94 feet long by 50 wide, so okay. 9450. Gotcha. And it's a piece of technology where you actually have a basketball that has six microchips inside of it, and it can tell you the rotation on your ball. It can show you how perfect your arc is. You want it to be 45 so it goes into the goal properly. It tells you how fast you dribble, so we're all competing wow. against each other here in the facility. Who can dribble the fastest, <laughs> shoot the best, most accurate. So it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. That sounds fantastic. Now, let's talk about a little bit, bit of the history of the location here. It started off as an ice rink, but you guys took it over at some point over the spring and made some changes. That's correct. Yeah, we bought the building and took it from an ice facility and changing it into a um, basketball facility. So I had always had this dream of finding a facility in Kansas City that could actually house um, all the basketball needs for to build a perfect athlete. So to where you can work on them on their game and have great coaching. We have a shooting lab like we talked about, but also have the uh, Performance Academy and the Performance Institute upstairs where we can really m work on strength and conditioning and speed and agility. And so when this bu building went up for sale, I got a group of guys together, um, Tom Zarda, Marty Reagan, Jim McMullen, and myself, and we got this deal done to where we're actually able to come in and convert this to a basketball and volleyball field house. And so we're really excited. It's, we took it over in April, and we were able to get it done by August 1st. Mm -hmm. And um, we've been ha housing tournaments. We're going to have about 30 tournaments, basketball tournaments here a year. We also are able to house a lot of other events, though. We, ha we had a church in last week um, doing a, uh, you know, a big rally that they were doing for the church. Mm. Um, in two weeks, we have Taekwondo's having a meet here, wrestling meet here later on. Our volleyball tournaments start up in December. 
Um, we can hold um, concerts here. So we have a lot of other wow. things to do because of the square footage. We have 81,000 square feet here. So wow. there's a lot of square footage. Wow. So how long did it take for you guys to do the transformation? I know you are you have another company that did a lot of the work, which was great because you had control of them and, and, and were able to push and things like that. But how long did it take to, I mean, you know, it, it's a major conversion to, to change it out from an ice rink. And they had, at one point, they had grass on one of the, the um the rinks and all that stuff a major conversion to change it it was a major conversion i am a general contractor um uh here in kansas city i have a company troy paul homes we met our specialty is renovations and remodeling so it really did kind of fit in well i have a lot of great subcontractors that were able to come in and pull off some really amazing schedules so we were actually able to really start towards the end of may and then by august and about a two two and a half month conversion take the place from a hockey rink and uh, soccer, like you said, soccer on one side, hockey on the other, and convert it to an all-hardwood um, surface. So it was uh, an amazing schedule, I have to tell you. <laughs> the, many of my subs worked late into the night. I even had some of my painting contractors pull all-nighters just to get this wow. thing done. Because we had a huge tournament on July 25th, a national tournament um, that the uh, gym rats um, host. And we had to have this thing done July 25th. So we were... <laughs> that last week, there wasn't a lot of sleeping going on. Yeah, and it, it is a beautiful facility. If you haven't uh, um, driven by it, please drive, you know, come by, check it out. They give tours all the time. Uh, wonderful facility, just a lot of activity and things like that going on here. A lot of available things for kids as well as parents and, and, you know, the, and adults. Um, now, your slogan is, we build the athlete inside the player. That's Fieldhouse. Can you explain what that means? Yeah, so, you know, one of the things about a basketball player or a volleyball player, but even just athletes in general, is that it takes more than just getting practice in your individual sport. So, you know, we have to, there's many facets to the game. And so you need to build speed and agility and some strength and conditioning. So we really have a great product upstairs, what we call our Performance Institute and also our Fieldhouse, Fieldhouse Development Academy. And what that academy does is it is able to, take um, your athletes we put them into one of our um, programs we have an olympic training facility upstairs that is really designed to really mm -hmm. make an, the ultimate athlete so we have a great machines we have a vertimax that you, it tie, it's a resistance training that helps you explode it helps you to you put on belts around your arms and le waist and it uh, through the tension is able to increase your vertical we have sliding machines that helps you laterally move back and forth right. we also have a 30 yard um turf upstairs where we do sleds and parachutes and resistance training there we have a trx system that's a, another piece of machinery that really helps to build that at that ultimate athlete and then we just we also customize our training programs if you're for your sport specialty so if you want to do soccer or baseball we have others we have our trainers upstairs julie barncourt is one of our is our head up there um fitness director and she's able to go in and customize your plan for you right. exactly the way you want it and so then we're able to not only develop you and get you practice on the courts but then we're able to take you up to the fitness center and build that athlete into that player right right so that's that's good very good for the athlete that is uh, you know, working on trying to improve their game get into college you know um get get seen even a pro you know get into the pros and we things always like say that. to the next level whatever yeah. your next level is right. so if you're in uh six you know sixth or seventh or eighth grade and you're trying to make your middle school team we can get you prepared for that if you're trying to go on to your you want to be that freshman that gets on the varsity team right we get you prepared for that next level in high school or maybe it's making your club team that year if right you're playing for a club team and then the ultimate dream is to play in college or even beyond that into the semi-pros and professional level so we're really able to all our coaches here and trainers here have either played college or semi-pro um, ba mm -hmm. basketball and mm -hmm. volleyball so we're really able to take an athlete put them and give them the experience they need to really build and uh, get developed and ready for that next level. So the age levels of the kids that you work with go from what to uh, what? Re really, we you know we have bitty basketball starting up in um, November. So mm -hmm. we start bringing kids in in kindergarten. Um, really, <laughs> we start putting you upstairs in the fitness center around fifth grade, sixth grade. Right. We want your body to be a little bit stronger and a little bit more developed. And then we start putting you on, and that's on tension um, resistance training. And then as you get 
as your body grows and we get you more into the uh, strength and conditioning in the seventh grade and above. And so, but we're able to work with kids at all ages. You know, one of the, thing, one of the great um, things that I really wanted to see happen with our facilities is skills development. So right. um, we have part of our package here is a skills package. And so that bas- that's basketball skills development. And what that looks like is for your $30 membership, your student athlete membership, four nights, four hours, four nights a week, we have um, a time for you to come in and do your skills. And what that looks like is you might be working on two-handed dribbling. You might be working on rebounding one night. You might be working on your, um, your uh, exploding off your left foot or mm-hmm. finishing mm-hmm. on your right side or left side. So it really takes you and starts to fine-tune some of your skills on the basketball side. And you don't have to be a member here. You don't have to play for – I mean, you, you do need to be a member. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you don't have to be a, a – club team member and playing on right. one of our AAU right. club teams, right. you can just take advantage of that and do that for your high school or your junior high or one of your own club teams. Well, we're talking with Troy Paul. He's the owner of the Field House, which is located at 135th and Quivira. Uh, their, their actual address is 12140 West 135th Street. It's in Overland Park. Phone number is 913-897-HOOP, which is, uh, HOOP is 4667, so it's 913-897-4667. You can stop by. What are your hours uh, where people can stop by for tour? We pretty much are open uh, all the time. So we mm-hmm. are open at 5 a.m. Yeah. till 10 p.m. Wow. And we even, now that we're in the winter, um, because basketball really revs up in the winter, we're going to extend it out to 11 because we do night hoops. Around 8, between 8 and 9, um, we start doing our night hoops. And uh, we have a lot of basketball players come up here. That today, they're getting their memberships for $20, but they're normally $40 for that wow. membership. And Terrific. Um, it's half price today. But the uh, but night hoops is goes on every evening, and they can come up here and get a basketball game in you know, nice. uh, um, at the, in the evening hours. So it's a lot of fun. Nice. So y- you've opened this place. It's very successful. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, what we would like to do is continue to build this up here in Kansas City to where we're – the ultimate place to, to play basketball on a recreational league or tournament. Um, but the future looks like we would love to see this dupli- be uh, duplicated in other cities. We'd love to go to have a field house of Denver, a field house of St. Louis, or a field house of Chicago. So we really think we're developing a product that can be um, great for many cities. There's field houses in other cities. We're one of mm-hmm. uh, 12 that are this large. Mm-hmm. But um, we think that we can take this product, and most of those are owned a lot of times by the city. Right. or the Parks and Rec. This is actually a private endeavor, and so this is an endeavor that we think we can take to other towns and uh, become part of an ultimate tournament circuit and support each other, and they have their own club teams in, in those different cities. That sounds like a, a fantastic opportunity to grow, grow this thing, and it all starts today. And uh, you've, like I said, you've got a great crowd here. People should come by and check it out. Um, again, they're located at 135th and Quivira, um, 913-897-HOOP. Uh, uh, website is? Website is Fieldhouse of the letter K, the letter C, dot com. Fieldhouse of KC, dot com. All your questions can be answered there, but we'd love to give you a tour. Pop in. I can personally give you a tour, or one of <laughs> our um, um, staff members here would give you a tour, or two. And uh, you can have a free membership on that first day, work out, play basketball, whatever you'd like to do. Well, Troy, congratulations hey, thank again. thank you, Steve. Very much. Um, we're going to continue and talk with one of your coaches and then your fitness director as well. And I know you're going to be going back, and there are some people waiting for you to give them a tour right now. But uh, we're going to take a quick break. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazine Show. We're coming to you from the grand opening of the Field House at 135th and Quivera. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Go online and watch Good Sports, the KC Sports Magazine television show. It's available on the Good Sports KC YouTube channel and features local interviews with local athletes and experts covering sports, health, and exercise topics of importance to KC fans. And be sure to pick up your copy of the new KC Sports and Fitness Magazine featuring the Siege Sports High School Report, the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report, the KC Ice Center Hockey Report, the Great Life Golf Report, and the Bud Light Chiefs Report. KC Sports Magazine is always free, so pick one up today. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, 
and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. These days we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Chiropractic Health Month and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment. Just mention KC Sports or She KC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Whether you're playing a sport, running a business, or learning how to use an iPad, your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913 938-5433. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrew's Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Quivera. For tee times, call St. Andrew's at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th and Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 12627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. Great pizza and a great offer you can't refuse. Call Mafia Mike's at 913-660-1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913-322-6666. If you're buying or selling a home, contact Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. The Shannon Dozer Real Estate Group delivers a personal touch, professional approach, and positive results for every customer. Call Shannon at 913-488-9126 or visit shannondozer.com. Tailgating and professional indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com. We are back. It's the CollegiateCamo.com halftime report here on Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC show. The show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC magazines. I am Steve Fish. Now this show is being taped at Kansas City's new premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of Kansas City. Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, youth and men's leagues, sports camps, athletic sports enhancement, and more. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. You can call 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Now this segment is the collegiatecamo.com halftime report. It's brought to you by First Student Charter Bus Rental and those yellow buses that you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles and more. So the next time that you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. You can call 866-514-8747 for details or visit firstcharterbus.com. And it's also brought to you by CollegiateCamo.com. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and the loyalty that you have to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats, headwear, 
shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. You can visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find a product from your school that you can proudly display. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the Surplus Exchange College Sports Report. This month, we interview Jayhawk quarterback Dane Christ, Wild, uh, Wildcat tight end Travis Tannehill, and Tiger freshman and starting guard and Lee Summit High School grad Evan Baim. Uh, and in SheKC, we feature a story on the UMKC volleyball team, plus we give you the warning signs of something called the female athlete triad. And you can pick up your copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Ice Center and at Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman in Lenexa and Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. Now you'll find SheKC at over 500 locations, and you can find those locations on our website, SheKC.com. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our web pages and follow our links to our pages. Our websites are kcsportspaper.com and shekc.com. And now you can view this show and some of our past shows on YouTube. Search for the uh, Good Sports KC channel when you go to the YouTube website. Now we'd like to welcome some new advertisers to KC Sports and Fitness, and they include collegiatecamo.com, the sponsor of this segment of Good Sports, the Kansas City Renegades professional indoor football ta uh, team, Tailgating and indoor football are back at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com and continue to follow the team in Kansas City sports and fitness. Plus, PM Sleep Lab, over 60 million Americans suffer from one or more of 80 different sleep disorders. PM Sleep Lab has a staff of sleep disorder specialists who will help you diagnose these problems We'll work with your physician to treat the condition and improve your health. Give PM Sleep Lab one night for a lifetime of better sleep. For more information or to set up a study at one of their three Kansas City locations, call them at 913-721-5511 or visit pmsleeplabs.com. Plus, we want to mention several advertisers in SheKC, and they are Kansas City Chiropractic, Safe Kansas, Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Pulaski and Associates, Sport Court, Stanley Jazzercise, Gardens of Delight Yoga, Heritage College, The Field House of Kansas City, uh, I-9 Sports, and Shannon Dozer's Keller Williams Real Estate Office. Uh, now, we are joined uh, by one of the coaches here at the Field House, Gary Newsom. He is in charge of basketball operations. He's the coordinator for the girls' basketball here at the Field House. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, this is a great event that you have going on here. Um, you know, all the courts are filled. You've got all sorts of things going on. On the other side, you've got people playing basketball. Um, it's, uh, you know, all sorts of things are happening. People are joining up. Uh, just a terrific, terrific thing that you guys have put together here. Well, th well, thank you. First off, Gary, you're, you're a native Kansas Cityan. Um, where did you attend high school? Um, I went to Shawnee Mission West all four years, freshman through uh, uh, senior. And you played varsity basketball there yes. um, as uh, for three years. Yes, so, as so a you were uh -huh. you were a young man and playing with the big boys. Yep. Um, and what position did you play? Uh, I was probably our three small forward. Okay, okay. And you also ran track. I was a sprinter. I ran the hundred, the two hundred, the four by one, four by two, anchor at both of those relays. And had a number of state honors in your junior and senior years. For, was that for basketball or for track? Um, for track and for basketball, okay. uh, we did very well in both sports. I was blessed to be with a great group of guys. Uh, yeah, sounds great. Now let's talk about what you, uh, where you've coached before you came to the field house. Um, you know, give us a little bit of your background. Right. Um, in 06, I was hired as the uh, head coach, girls varsity head coach at uh, Olathe Christian School. I coached there for three years. Uh, over the course of those three years, uh, we won three state tournaments back-to-back. Uh, -back. Um, That's we, fantastic. We won, uh, thank you. We won a Midwest regional title there at Olathe Christian and two national titles. There was a Christian school national title that's held once a year. Uh, we participated in that two of the three years that I was there and brought home, brought, brought home the, the championships both of those years. And one of the things you told me, we talked yesterday, one of the things you told me is that all 10 of the girls that were on your team went on to play college ball. Absolutely. That's uh, one of the stats. As much as the championships and winning a lot of games, I went 91 and 14, mm -hmm. I believe, while I was there. All of those things are cool, but 
at the end of the day, what we want to do is put our kids in a situation where they're going to have success and be able to take their game to the next level academically and uh, athletically. Now, were you uh, instrumental in helping them get connected with the universities in some cases or connecting up with the coaches to, you know, help open the door for those kids? Absolutely. Uh, I'm kind of, a, the way I see it, a one-stop shop, kind of what I bring here to Fieldhouse. Um, for example, Leah Cotton uh, would probably be the premier girl that I had in our program. Uh, I made the phone calls to the University of Minnesota. I met with the coaching staff. Uh, I took her to camps and clinics there uh, in Minnesota and uh, made all the necessary arrangements. Um, you know, we had some outside people that assisted with a lot of that too, but uh, I was very hands-on and instrumental in making that happen. That was important to me for my kids. So you helped her jump to a Division One school. Right, and, right. And she's playing there now? Absolutely. She's in her senior year. That's terrific. That's terrific. Now, you also had your own company called Warrior Academy Sports and Warrior Hoops. Tell us about these. Well, Warrior Academy Sports is kind of the, the broader term for my company. Warrior Hoops was the, actually the basketball arm uh, of my company. Um, we... I uh, really wanted to develop kids. We took kids at any level, so it didn't really matter to us what their skill set was. Really, the only two things that I'm looking for, we were looking for, uh, were, were the kids coachable and did they have uh, a desire to become a better basketball player. So if they had those two things, we would do our part to make them a better basketball player. And I want to mention some of the colleges that, that uh, some of the kids that you coached have gone to. You, you had a kid that went on to Drake. Uh, Mid-American Nazarene here in Kansas City, right. University of Minnesota, like you said, K-State. You've had a couple of kids that have wound up at K-State. I think a couple of them I saw they transferred uh, right. over to K-State. St. Mary's and Baker, you know, I mean, that, those are great connections and great opportunities for these girls to move on and, and uh, you know, get an education first and foremost right. and play their right. sport as well, you know, and, and, you know, succeed in their sport. So you've been coaching girls for a long time. You also coach boys uh, right. here at the field house right. and, and, and in your previous hoops. experience. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, so how did you get connected with the field house? How did, how did this all happen that you're, you're here? Well, um, just uh, was driving one day and I received a phone call from our primary mm -hmm. owner, Troy Paul. Uh, my name had been given to him uh, to bring in as one of his directors or as a partner uh, in the venture, and uh, I, I got back with Troy and actually came out, toured the facility, bought in immediately with the dream. Uh, it was very <laughs> similar to the dream that I had for myself and my, my program, so it, it was just a great fit. And uh, you're also in charge of something called the Fieldhouse Development Academy. What, what age kids are in the academy? Well, Fieldhouse Development Academy, or FDA for short, is for our freshmen through senior boys and girls. Um, at this time of year in the fall, a lot of places don't have programming for those types of kids, but we wanted to create something specialized for those kids to get them ready for their school ball ventures. So um, there's a lot of different components in that, from skill sessions to shooting lab sessions uh, to uh, performance training institute sessions. So there's a lot of pieces in that to make our kids uh, a better player and, and help them to contribute to their school ball teams. Right. And then you know, there's also the Fieldhouse Development League, uh, which is for little younger kids? Absolutely. Little same, same philosophy, but a uh, different age group. That's for our third grade through eighth grade kids. Mm -hmm. uh, it's for kids that uh, tried out for club teams, didn't make that club team, or kids that are transitioning from a YMCA or you know, a recreational situation and want to play in a competitive league situation. Uh, so it's all about enhancing their skill sets and getting them ready to play at the next level. Right. And Rising Stars, that is that, what age is that? Is Rising, that a little bit underneath that? Underneath that. We'll have Biddy Ball as well, but Rising Stars is more of a, a daycare type uh, program. We introduce kids to sports uh, through a daycare kind of format. I see. Um, That's fun. That sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. Yeah. And, and where's them out? Where's them out? Where's them out so they go home tired? That's that, the goal. That, that, that's, that's the goal. Um, you know, now – there's so much emphasis on winning these days in sports. Uh, how do you keep it fun for all the kids that you're working with? Well, it's got to be fun. Uh, and I think as a coach, you've got to build a rapport and a relationship with your kids first and foremost. So that if you understand uh, where, they're, where they're at, and I say where they're at because you're going to be at, at different grade levels or different age groups. So you've mm -hmm. got to understand the kids where they're at. Maybe they had a bad day in school. Maybe... They had a situation at home, and you as a coach have to understand the intangibles that come behind that. That kid may not have a bad attitude just because he's a bad kid. Maybe he has a bad attitude today because he had a bad day. Right. Uh, <laughs> so we just got to recognize those things so that we can use basketball as a vehicle to give a kid a safe place right. uh, to be able to nice. have you know, an experience. Very nice. Now, you've coached girls and boys. Uh, is there a difference 
in the coaching <laughs> process with girls and boys? Uh, absolutely. Uh, again, I've done both, but I prefer the girls. Uh, I'm a fundamentally focused coach. I see. Uh, girls are really into doing what you tell them to do. Mm -hmm. They want to please their coach. <laughs> Uh, again, once you've built that rapport and relationship, if you tell a girl to run into a wall, she'll really <laughs> run into the wall. Um, you know, uh, boys, you know, think they know things and uh, you have to repeat yourself a lot. But uh, girls are pretty loyal and disciplined and do what they're told to do. I've heard that about soccer <laughs> as well, and, and it holds true. And uh, uh, so um, how do you deal with an intense parent if, if a parent gets a little bit too intense and too involved with their kids how do you deal with that i guess i guess i should ask you this what's your coaching philosophy um you know let's let's talk about that first because we only got about a minute and a half or so i want to okay. make sure that you get that out your philosophy of teaching kids and how i mean how do you work with these kids well uh I, i'm a christian so that's first and foremost for me everything that i do and say for basketball comes out of a christian perspective uh, I believe basketball can be taught at a better level. Um, I don't yell. I mean, I, I yell. I won't say that, but you know, the cussing. Raise the, your voice right. to make to, to 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 communicate across the court. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I, I'm not going to cuss your kid out. I'm not going to demean <laughs> your kid and tear him down. Am I going to be hard on them and aggressive and drive them? Absolutely. Um, but I just believe it can be done in a way that you build rapport with that student or that player, uh, and they will do their absolutely best for you because they trust you. They believe in you because they know you believe in them. Um, I just believe it can be done a better way, and that's the way we're doing it here at the Fieldhouse. So how many teams are you coaching at, or will you be coaching at this, you know, coming up? And, um, you know, how many classes do you teach and things like that? Well, in the fall, I will carry uh, our eighth grade team, our sixth grade team, and our fourth grade team. Uh, again, I'm over FDA and FDL, so all the, part of those packages include one-on-one -on -one lessons so a lot of those lessons private lessons I'll do myself um, I, I'm, I'm here to serve I'm here to develop kids so wherever I'm needed uh, that's where I'll be sounds terrific well we uh, um, are coming to the end of our segment here we're talking with Gary Newsom he's the basketball operations coordinator for girls basketball here at the field house you can reach him at 913-897 hoop which is 913-897-4667 uh, you can stop by the field house of run into him here a number of times, uh, gotten to know him a little bit. You can contact him at fieldhouseofkc.com. Uh, We've got another group of coaches here that also work with kids in a similar way Absolutely. that Gary does. It's a great facility. Uh, come on and out and stop by 135th and Quivira. Gary, thank you so much You're welcome. for joining us. You're welcome. You, you've, got, you've got some people waiting on you to talk some more basketball. We're going to take a, a quick break. That's our collegiatecamo.com halftime report. You're watching or listening to Good Sports, the KC Sports and Fitness, and She KC Magazine Show. We are coming to you from the Fieldhouse of Kansas City. Their grand opening is today. Uh, they're located at 135th and Quivira. I'm Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Collegiate Camo combines your love of the outdoors and loyalty to your favorite college sports team. Collegiate Camo offers only the finest quality car and truck decals, jumbo boat decals, hats and headwear, shirts, outerwear, women's items, and other camouflage college logo products. Collegiate Camo features products for over 40 schools. Visit their website, collegiatecamo.com, to find products from your school that you can proudly display. For sports like you've never seen before, Siege Sports is the answer. Unique uniforms and superior equipment for your complete athletic experience. Contact Siege Sports at 913-953-8400 or visit SiegeSports.com. The Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com 
or call 913-441-3033. For over 40 years, Old Shawnee Pizza has been serving up great pizza and Italian food in Kansas City. Call 913-631-5716 for Old Shawnee Pizza at 61st and Neiman and 913-677-1844 for their new location at 2422 South 34th Street. Your center for natural healing is the Gardens of Delight. Yoga, Tai Chi, natural wellness therapy in a serene setting near downtown Parkville. Visit gardensofdelight.org or call 816-584-0777 for more information or to sign up for a yoga class. Come check out KC's premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. The Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, from player skill development, athletic performance enhancement, and character enrichment. Youth and men's leagues, sports camps, exercise, and more. The Fieldhouse builds the athlete inside the player. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. Call 913-897-WHO or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Someone has to motivate her. Someone has to prepare him. Someone has to lead them. Someone has to train them. Heritage College. Train to be a personal trainer. Get started today. Call 1-866-845-3613. That's 1-866-845-3613. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Donate your life-saving blood every Monday during football season at Community Blood Center and receive a free large Papa Murphy's pizza. For details like CBC on Facebook or click SaveAlifeNow.org. MISL Soccer is back at the Independence Event Center starting November 2nd. Come cheer on your Missouri Comets at their home opener. For more information on tickets for the Missouri Comets, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. Two good sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and SheKC Magazines. I am Steve Fish. Now, this show is being taped at the grand opening of Kansas City's new premier basketball training facility, the Fieldhouse of KC. The Fieldhouse is your one-stop shop for everything basketball, youth and men's leagues, sports camps, athletic sports enhancement, and more. Stop by the Fieldhouse of KC at 135th and Quivira. You can call them at 913-897-HOOP or visit fieldhouseofkc.com. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the Surplus Exchange, where you can take a tax donation credit, plus help KC students when you recycle your electronics and office furniture at the Surplus Exchange. Watch for their upcoming recycling events. They've got one going on today in Lee Summit, and they've got one on October 13th at the Black and Beach campus in Overland Park. And for more information, visit surplusexchange.org or call 816-472-0444. Now, I also want to mention some of the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic off the plaza, former Royals World Series champ Greg Pryor of Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us, and nationally known safety expert Marty Augustine from Safe Kansas. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like exercise, health solutions, sports, and more, and you can read a health or a sports tip from each of them in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, or SheKC. To, to read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including Burger Kings and the Sport Clips all across Kansas City. And SheKC is available at over 500 locations. Now this month's SheKC, we tell you if it's best to eat before or after exercising. We also write about rowing for fitness and exercise and college scholarships. Plus, in KC Sports, we feature our golf report presented by Great Life Golf and Fitness. We give you advice on how to simplify your game. And in our high school report presented by Siege Sports, we write about the Fort Osage Indians and their quarterback Steve McBee and tight end Devontae Mosby. Now, I also want to mention that on October 13th, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center recording an upcoming show. KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 
on Johnson Drive, and our taping will start at about 12.30 that day. On October 20th, we will be at Old Shawnee Pizza, located about a half mile north of Shawnee Mission Parkway on Neiman Road, and our taping usually starts about 12.30 as well that day. On October 27th, we will be at Oliver's Pizzeria, located at 135th Street in the Parkway Plaza between Nall and Row, and our taping also will start around lunchtime that day. And in November, we will be back here at the Fieldhouse of Kansas City, which is located at 135th and Quivira. So come on out and join us for these events. You might see yourself on TV. There's a good chance if you're out here today, you're going to see yourself on TV in the background. Now, the Missouri Comets season starts up next month, and we've got tickets to give away to one of their upcoming games. In fact, we have five pair of tickets, and all you have to do to enter to win is email us your information, and the email address you should send it to is freestuff at kcsportspaper.com. We also have an entry form in the October issue of KC Sports, so enter, and you might win. Uh, now, we're joined at, we're still at the Fieldhouse. It is still the grand opening. Uh, we're joined by Cynthia Kernodal, who is the fitness director here at the Fieldhouse. Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having uh, me. Tell us about your fitness background. Uh, you came, you're here, obviously, but things have started here fairly recently. What's your background in fitness? Started pretty young. I worked at a fitness center when I was 19. I'm going to say 22 that, years ago. Oh, I was going to say that was 10 years ago year. or so, yeah. should have picked the year. Yeah. <laughs> At the front desk, and I used to sit and watch the aerobic classes. That's what we called it then. Yeah. Group X. Yeah. Aerobic classes, and I took one and just kept thinking, I should be up there. I want to be, I want to wear the mic. <laughs> well, there you go. All kinds of classes. <laughs> so you should so be very comfortable with this headset on today, so. It feels all right. No problem. Feels yeah, all right. No, no problem. And you had your own business as well, uh, Choices Personal Training. I did, and I uh, picked that name just because as trends came and went, I, you know, started when we were still in leg warmers and kicking around. So just because my background is in not just one thing, but I got into yoga and step and kickboxing and Pilates. Mm -hmm. so, so what's so wrong with leg warmers? Nothing at all. <laughs> Not a thing. Just a fashion statement. Not a thing. Just a fashion, yeah. And headbands and leg it warmers. It works. They're glitter, functional. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about the fitness facility upstairs. Um, what's going on up there for the grand opening today? Well, we have um, a performance institute, which is designed for the athlete. And strength and agility, speed, mm -hmm. vertical jump. Mm -hmm. So to get them off the court, off the field, whatever their sport is, and cross-train them, strengthen muscles they might not use, find any imbalances from, you know, shooting with the same arm, dribbling, just right. to make an overall stronger athlete faster. Right. So there's that aspect. So you're, you're really talking to people about that today a little bit more than signing people up for the fitness facility. Because we one are. of the things that... You know, you and I talked about this yesterday. Um, one of the things is mom or dad bring the kids in here and they're, they're here on the court for an hour and a half or they may be upstairs working out as well. There's no reason mom and dad can't go upstairs and work out as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. There are group X classes. So we have a 5.30 a.m. class Monday through Friday. We have morning classes, evening classes, mm -hmm. and... You know, I have sat through my fair share of practices with having the kids of you my have own. How many? And four kids. Four kids. Yeah, and wow. so, you know, you're always finding something to do in, in that hour. And yeah, might as well for get off the bleachers sure. and just make better use of their time. Just bring in an extra little bag with your stuff with, and just go upstairs and work out. So, yep. if you want to work out up there, what kind of equipment are you going to see when you head up there? Well, we have uh, free motion. We have, some people know that as Nautilus equipment, but okay. we have free motion. Um, and then we have free weights. We mm -hmm. have a playground, essentially, with uh, TRX What's and a TRX? kinesis. TRX is... Uh, Troy mentioned that, but I didn't okay. get a chance to say. Okay. What's a TRX? Well, it's actually a canvas strap that separates in two with handles on the end. Mm -hmm. And any exercise you could do with free weights, you can do on the TRX, but really? you're using your own body weight as okay. resistance and calisthenic kind of thing if you go back to the old jack lane days where you're pushing against is that kind of it or is it something your different body there? becomes the weight and as you stand closer to lower to the floor you mm -hmm. are heavier yes. so you're lifting more weight yeah, yeah. um okay. it's variety but also you don't need a spotter when you're done 
yeah. to step back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, and then we also have a kinesis. Um, we have trainers up there Monday through, well, every day of the week. So mm -hmm. both for the Performance Institute and then um, just the general population can also come in and get in on either one-on-one -on -one or group training sessions. Right. So people can sign up and go use the facility at any point during the day. If you, I mean, if you're off of work at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you can come up there and just work out. Yes. You might not be able to take a class because the classes are at certain times during the day, but they can also participate in those classes. Um, what are some of the different classes that you offer? We have cycling, indoor cycling. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, cardiovascular class mixed with stretching and, and Pilates, so 30 minutes of cardio. We have a killer basics class, which is a boot camp style. Okay. Um, the great thing is any class, I will welcome any fitness level. Right, so a lot right. of people feel like I need to get in shape first and then I'll go to the gym. Mm -hmm. But I want everyone <laughs> walking out the door feeling successful. So um, there's nothing too choreographed or fancy. Really, all the classes, anybody could jump in. Right. So, you know, let's take a second here for those moms and dads that might want to use the facility while their kids are working out and they're wanting, they're wanting to lose some weight or something like that. It's important to combine the cardio as well as the weightlifting. Give, a, give us a quick rundown on how that all works because, you know, we might think, oh, yeah, if I go out and run, I'm, it's going to work. But you've got to add the weights to it yes. as well. And we used to be told that you need to do cardio to burn fat. Mm -hmm. They even had it down to the minute and where your heart rate needed to be, <laughs> and then you would be burning fat. Well, as we add lean muscle mass to our bodies, our metabolism, even at rest, runs higher. Right. So, and a lot of women especially are afraid of the weights floor and that they will get huge. Right. And uh, that's not going to happen. The reverse right. is true. As we add lean muscle mass, we will burn fat. Right. And cardio is still good, and that's a part of it, and it's um, good for our hearts and lungs. But the and, combo of both And strengthening is that, it increases your metabolism, so you're burning a little bit more, even if you're not doing anything. And that, that's, mm -hmm. that's the best part, is mm -hmm. you're burning, you're doing, you're, you're helping yourself even if you're not doing yeah, anything. Even beca because of the exercise, yeah. Even at rest. So what is interval training? Um, I've heard that term, but I don't know, other than it, moving from station to station. Is that inter interval training or is it something else? Interval training is mixing resistance with cardio. Okay. And so the last question you just asked, a lot of people also starting couldn't get on a treadmill and just jog even a mile. Right. So to build the, that cardiac threshold, to do short sprints, I say sprints, mm -hmm. short cardio moves. I got you. And then the rest period is actually resistance. So they might okay. do uh, a squat or a bicep curl. That's the resistance. Mm -hmm. Then jumping jacks. I'll pick something simple. Sure, sure. 60 seconds of that. Trying to work at a level that they couldn't maintain for more than 90 seconds. Right, right. And short recovery, and then you do it again, resistance mixed with cardio. I got you. I got but you. that burns not just a lot of calories during, but then hours afterwards. Wow. So wow, and that's the, the goal. Yeah. Now, you also offer personal training. We've only got a couple minutes here, but you offer personal training, but you also do, and one-on-one, -on -one, but you also do small group fitness instruction, and that's very popular. Yes. Um, first, it's a fraction of the cost of one-on-one. Right, -on -one. right. And our trainers do meet with someone once for an orientation and to find out their fitness level and any restrictions. But small group training has become very popular. Mm -hmm. um, anywhere at, here we do between three and five, but everybody has different goals, fitness levels, needs. I could have, you know, someone 70 that just had hip replacement, and then I could have a 20-year-old athlete i could have a new mom wanting to drop 15 pounds right. and so everybody's right. getting personal attention but it's in the same hour so they're sharing a trainer they're getting their own workout and there's a lot of there's energy that way in a group setting yeah. people are often less intimidated you can tease each other one. you can joke around yeah. you get familiar with them you know you have fun together in that in that sense you can coax them on you yes. know, to, to do a little bit extra. So that makes your job a little bit easier in some, some cases as well. Um, plus, uh, you know, you have a number of instructors here. Um, 
your monthly memberships are fairly are very reasonable. I, I saw you know that you got special student and senior rates as mm -hmm. well, which are mm -hmm. great. Um, now your membership also includes not only the fitness center but open gym as well. Yes. So if you want to go out, if dad or, or mom want to go out and just kind of you know, do a little stretch bit of hips. cardio and mm -hmm. yeah, just stretch the muscles in a different way. They can do that. Mm -hmm. So if people want to sign up for a uh, membership for upstairs, um, uh, they just call the 913-897-HOOP uh, yes. phone number as yes. well. They can come, come by and visit with you and talk about the details of the different programs that Anybody you have Anybody here well. could help and to check us out online as well. Very good. Well, so a phone call or online? Cynthia, thank you very much thank for you. joining us today. It's a terrific event that you guys have going on today here at the Fieldhouse of Kansas City. Again, you can stop by the Fieldhouse. They're at uh, 120, uh, 12140 uh, West 135th Street, uh, 135th and Corvera, 913-897-HOOP, which is 4660, fieldhouseofkc.com. That will do it for our show today. My thanks to our host for the show, the Fieldhouse. And to Troy Paul, the owner of the Fieldhouse, I want to thank Gary Newsom and fitness director uh, Cynthia Kernodal for joining us as well. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and CKC Show. And check out some of our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise. In Kansas City Sports and Fitness and CKC Magazine. You will find them all over Kansas City and they're free, so pick them up today. These days we're all so busy and many of us ignore our health and let stress turn into chronic pain. Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic can provide you with the proper care to relieve pain and stress, improve your health, and get more out of life. To make an appointment with Dr. McIntosh, call 816-753-4600. Most insurance plans are welcome. And this month is National Chiropractic Health Month and you can save 20% on your first chiropractic treatment. Just mention KC Sports or She KC. For more information on Dr. McIntosh and KC Chiropractic, go online at kansascitychiropractic.com. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for group activities like going to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. Visit firstcharterbus.com or call 866-514-8747 and choose yellow and choose first. With the current trend to live a greener lifestyle, many people and businesses now recycle their electronics. At the Surplus Exchange, your e-waste will never go to a landfill or incinerator, nor will we allow e-waste to be shipped overseas. Some companies employ this tactic and end up polluting other countries with our waste. All materials are safely tracked, destroyed, or reclaimed right here in the U.S. The Surplus Exchange is Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. To find out more, visit surplusexchange.org. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. The Kansas City Ice Center is set to open their brand new outdoor ice pavilion on November 17th. And sign up now for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play Hockey classes. The KC Ice Center is located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive. Plus, come check out a public skating session or call them to schedule a party or group rental. For more information or to register for a class, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. Take advantage of the Oliver's Pizzeria Lunchtime $5 sandwich special with your coupon from KC Sports and Fitness. Enjoy a club, meatball, grinder, or barbecue brisket sandwich at lunchtime for just $5 at Oliver's. And Oliver's Pizzeria offers a full range of pizzas with a variety of toppings, sauces, and crust styles. Visit Oliver's at 4800 West 135th Street between Knoll and Row, or go online to oliverspizzeria.com or call 913-851-5111. 
Unleash your creativity at the Ceramics and Coffee House at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Come out for Family Fun Night, Kids Night Out, or many of the other scheduled events at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. Or make your next birthday party, group event, or bridal shower unique at Paint, Glaze, and Fire. And right now, get $5 off your purchase of $25 or more with your coupon in Kansas City Sports and Fitness. Call Paint, Glaze, and Fire at 913-661-CLAY or visit paintglazeandfire.net. The Ceramics and Coffee House, located at 127th and Metcalf. MISL Soccer is back at the Independence Event Center starting November 2nd. Come cheer on your Missouri Comets at their home opener. For more information on tickets for the Missouri Comets, visit CometsIndoorSoccer.com or call 855-KC-ARENA. I'm Cheryl Burke, two-time champion of Dancing with the Stars, and Jazzercise is my kind of fitness. It's the only place I can dance to Justin, Beyonce, and Pink and get a total body workout in 60 minutes. Visit Stanley Fitness Center at 151st and Lowell or call 913-486-8722. My snoring was keeping my wife awake at night. She told me that I stopped breathing many times during the night. When that alarm would go off in the morning, I couldn't get out of bed. Even sleeping for nine or 10 hours would leave me feeling tired the next day. That's because I wasn't sleeping. I had sleep apnea. My doctor sent me for a sleep study at PM Sleep Lab. I feel like a new man now that I sleep through the night. Learn more at pmsleeplab.com with three Kansas City locations. Tailgating and professional indoor football are back in KC at Kemper Arena beginning in the spring of 2013 with the Kansas City Renegades. For more information and ticket details, visit kcrenegades.com. <laughs> 